let's speak to David, who's a Spurs fan, but he has got an assessment of Arsenal this evening. How are you, David? Hi, David. Yeah, very, very well indeed. Absolutely spot on, the assessment that was given by, I think, Craig. Yes. It, and, and that's exactly where I think Spurs are. Even, no matter what manager comes in, where do Arsenal actually expect to actually get? They're not good enough to get in the top four. Just like They're just in exactly the same position as Tottenham. There's like three leagues, isn't there, in the Premier League. Mm. You've got the sides that are going to back it out, the top four, if you want to include Leicester. Then you've got the sides that you know are not going to win it, but they're not going to go down. And then you've got the bottom six or seven. And they're not going to... It's like the Harry Kane thing. I've got a question for Dean. Last year, Harry Kane scored, last year, Harry Kane scored countless goals, loads of assists, God knows how many assists, Son as well. Where did we finish? Still. So the, the thing I'm asking, Dean, mm. with or without Harry Kane, Spurs are not going to be in the top four anyway. And I'm trying to think what... What did they, you know... Fifth? I'm trying to get my head round. Fifth? If you have a good season, fifth's possible, right? Possibly. Possibly. But who I don't wants think fifth? That Spurs are good enough. I don't think Spurs are good enough. I was talking today to somebody who's a Liverpool fan, and I said, How many Spurs players would get in Liverpool's side? I don't think one. Well, I well, actually don't forget Kane. I don't think one. Well, you asked me about that situation with Kane. I, I, I said earlier, I, if you go back a few years, they've, you, you don't win anything by dismantling your team. You, you do what yeah. Chelsea have just done. You know, they've won the Champions League, then they add Lukaku to it to make them even stronger. I think yeah. they've lost Danny Rose, Walker, Eriksen, Modric. These yeah. players, they've let too many good players go. And and they've ended up fifth. I you think, know, fourth. I think, yeah. I yeah. think that's they're harsh, though. I think that's harsh on Tottenham. I think that's harsh on Tottenham because Tottenham have been building. They We know they don't spend no, at the level of some of the... No, but I know that they, they don't spend at the level over the last 15 years of some of the clubs that, in fact, they've been able to well, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. No, but you've got to set the club up, firstly. They weren't at a point that they could attract. Look at the training ground now. Look at the stadium. I know that's not a trophy, and Spurs fans want a trophy, but now they are an attractive proposition. The real issue is that the spend, when you let those big players go, you have to replace them with quality. Leicester City have sold all their big players over the years. They sold Riyad Mahrez. They sold N'Golo Conte. They sold Harry Maguire. But they recruited really shrewdly in behind that. The issue with Tottenham is not that they sold those players, it's that they didn't replace them with, with anywhere near the, the requisite well, amount that's, well, of that's quality. That's what Patrice has been brought in for from Juventus, the sporting director. He's been brought in for that exact reason. No, no disrespect to Paul Hitchin, but obviously he did a pants job and now they've brought in Patrice and Patrice is supposed to be the guy that's going to do that now. Whether he's going to do it remains to be seen. Whether he's going to get the funds remains to be seen. But that's why I feel like maybe selling Harry Kane is maybe the best option for Spurs. Because then there'll be money left. to rebuild. Kyle Walker left because he was going to earn probably twice as much as he was earning and win trophies. Danny Rose left because of money. He wasn't getting paid enough. Gareth Bale might have stayed if he'd have matched his wages. Modric might have stayed. Ericsson might have stayed. They're not prepared to match the top, top team's wages. And if you don't, how can you expect to jump over them? David, thank mm. you for your call Cheers, and David. amazing job at turning the conversation around to Tottenham Hotspur as well. <laughs>